Hey guys, my name is Kim and we are about to embark on an epic journey together. This is 100 days of Pixmon Turbo. What is Turbo, you may ask? It's simple. It is just normal Pixmon, but I have increased a few settings so that legendary and bosses spawn more often and have a higher chance of actually spawning. And that is about it. I started my new adventure with the chosen one, a shiny Charmander, one of my favorite Pokemon. I decided to give myself some starting loot and we spawned together in this uh, honestly terrible forest. Like, I got stung all the time. Oh my goodness, why am I hurting? Why am I hurting? What did I just... Playing on peaceful here, okay? And just a few blocks away from where I spawned, I found a deserted Pokemon Center. I, I did not expect to get a PC that early on. So my objective now is to find a village so that I can get some items and maybe buy some more Pokeballs. And if I'm lucky, there might be a gym. I came over a Pikachu. And I know Pikachu is like the mascot and uh, maybe he's been overused, but I can't help it. I love Pikachu too. I don't know why Pikachu is trying to kiss me. Like, okay, so Pikachu is burning now. If you're burning, you better get caught, okay? We did it! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! I got myself a Charmander, a shiny Charmander, and a Pikachu. Oh, I love you guys. So me and Charmander and Pikachu, we walked together to find a village. But, uh, but it got dark, and uh, we never found one. And I couldn't see anything. I asked Charmander if he could make a campfire, but he, instead he, he burned down the forest. Hey Charmander, can you swim? You are one crazy guy, you know that? Your tail is on the water. Okay, we are on day two now, and in the morning we found a village. I healed up my Pokemon, uh, stole some items and sold items so that I can buy Pokeballs, and I bought 40 Pokeballs and some Ultra Balls. There was no gym in this village, sadly. So me and my Pokemon, we, we got ourselves out of there and looked for another village that hopefully looked better and had a gym. And we actually did find a village at sunset. But in the morning of day three, we left right away, as this village was not good either. Then I saw something new. Uh, this I haven't played Pixmon in a while, and I was apparently fighting in a raid. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? Are we are we doing a raid? <laughs> I, I am... Oh, what, what, what even level is that thing? Oh, oh there goes my Charmander. Oh, there, that, that's goes, there goes that guy. Um, just what? Oh, boy! I lost badly. I got crushed. I want to get around quicker. And I saw this Ponyta. So I fought it and I caught it. This Ponyta is a great travel companion. Now I can get around much quicker. <laughs> wow guys, look at this. I came over an Aerodactyle boss and an Entei actually spawned. This Aerodactyl crushed me. And I don't know, I couldn't find an Entei afterwards. It might have despawned, but it was late. And with these shaders, it's extremely dark at night. In just a couple of days, I'm gonna change out the shaders. This video is sponsored by Complex Gaming, who is the number one Pixmon server. So if you're looking for a place to make new friends and play Pixmon, Complex Gaming is the server for you. I can confirm, I've spent 100 days on it and it was awesome. This is my base. <laughs> wow, I have many, many new neighbors. And these guys have made some really cool houses. One guy even made a better version of my house. I'm keeping my eyes on you. This server has it all and is constantly being updated and maintained. So please join the Complex Gaming Pixmon server. And oh, I placed a couple of chests outside of my home, containing some good loot, including a master ball and even keys. Happy hunting. I've noticed that I ran past a new structure, so I went back there to find out what it was. What is this place? What is this? I've never seen this before. Look at this gate. Rip? Rip? <laughs> Rip who has died? Is this... Oh my goodness. This is a graveyard. Is that a Pokemon graveyard? Mistrevious, what has happened here? Are these Pokemons or humans? I know this is uh, controversial, but um, I'm gonna dig up the graves and see if I find something. Oh, <gasps> there's a chest down there. Ah, oh, it's empty. Try catching some of the Pokemons here, but but uh, but I gave up and left, as I want to find a new village with a new gym. I have no clue what Pokemon that is. You guys, can you guys tell me? And we came over a new village, and I did the usual thing, but there was no gym here either. I came over this uh, Celebi shrine, that is really cool, so I marked it on my map so that I can return here if I were to find a GS ball. Here I am, just minding my own business, until a Mega Alakazam boss appears. And I fought against the Mega Alakazam, but uh, it, did, it did not go my way, so instead, I figured I should fight a trainer. That was also a disaster. And my Pikachu, who would have been really good, uh, have no attack moves. And Charmander... You know, that went as well as I, uh, as you can expect. So I kept exploring, and uh, that is, that is about it. As I woke up, a legendary Pokemon spawned. It was called Vialta, I believe. I searched the entire Taiga Forest for it, but but I couldn't see it. I really couldn't. So I reread the text, and I noticed it said that it has spawned in a den. Is then the same thing as those raids? I looked around and actually there was an active raid very close to me. I went there and yes, there it was. Me and some other NPC trainers tried our luck, but uh, that was a lost cause. So I don't see anything, but I found it. 
Here goes all of my Pokemon. Magikarp survived. All, out of all the Pokemon, the Magikarp survived. We stood no chance, so I just moved on. And finally, finally I came over a huge village with a rock gym. I would like to challenge the gym leader. And considering it's a rock gym, I could need some water Pokemon. And I found a great candidate, a Magikarp. But you guys won't believe what happened next. Wait, the Magikarp used Tackle? Did the Magikarp just use Tackle on me? Aren't they supposed to only know Splash? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Today is a training day. I'm out in the woods with my Charmander and Magikarp. And we had some interesting fights. Sometime later I saw another Alakazam boss. I completely ignored it as I knew the outcome. I believe I found a shiny Weedle. I don't know it's pink. So I'm not sure if it's just different. But if it happened to be a shiny, you guys are gonna hate me for defeating it. But then... A legendary Pokemon spawned. I looked for it and I actually found it. It's the legendary Pokemon Session from Sword and Shield. I couldn't help myself and I challenged it and uh, you know, it uh, completely defeated all of my Pokemon very quickly. But I wouldn't give up so I spent the rest of the night just chasing it and throwing all of the Pokeballs I had at it. Are you seeing this? Freaking legendary right here man. Alright, that was my last Ultra Ball. I got this luxurious ball, maybe he likes it, oh no. Alright then, I cannot waste more Pokeballs, I'm not gonna catch it. Oh! I caught it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe it. I caught my first legendary Pokemon already. Oh my god, that is amazing. So I've decided to wait to day 10 to challenge the rock gym and use today to train more. I've also completed a quest. I'm not sure what it was, uh, but I received gold. Then me and my Pokemon, we just enjoyed our time in the forest uh, and battled more Pokemon. And my Charmander even evolved. Oh! Uh, we're getting ourselves a Charmeleon! A shi- Where are you going? Here we go. Oh, stop going away! Now I have an edgy Charmeleon on my team. That is very good. The Pokemon training continues. I also found this thing. Uh, it's called the Terrain Extender. Uh, what is this? Please let me know. And thanks to my newly caught legendary Pokemon, this is going very quickly and effectively. Like, I defeated this level 120 <gasps> boss. Oh my god! <laughs> my Charmeleon gained 5000 experience points. <laughs> For defeating this boss, I received my keystone and a rare candy. Getting that rare candy is very good because I was going to evolve my Magikarp and I would like to evolve my Magikarp into Zombie Gyarados. But my useless Pikachu can't do any electric moves. So I caught a new electric Pokemon, but that one didn't know any electric moves either. So instead I leveled up my Pikachu and it finally learned a new electric move. And I prepare myself to evolve the Magikarp. Okay, Pikachu, I want you to electrocute him. And now we're gonna evolve him. Oh, Magikarp is evolving, you guys. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> what? It didn't work. Are you kidding me? He had his he had the axe on his eyes. Wait. Okay, that's uh, disappointing. I really thought that would work. Okay, my guys, it's day 10, and I challenged the gym of this village. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. And it was very easy. My new Gyarados took them all out. None of them could handle my waterfall move. There were many mini bosses to defeat, and I don't mind it at all, as this is an excellent way of leveling up my Pokemon. It took some time to defeat all of these minor bosses, but I made it to the top and I engaged a battle with the gym leader. This was no challenge for me, and I defeated the gym leader and earned the coal badge. And wow, just look at the size of this village. It is so big. I went down to fight that boss that I saw, but I failed, so I gave up on that. But then, right next to me, a new legendary just stood there. I did not have enough Pokeballs for it, and honestly I have no clue what legendary that is. It could be a mythical Pokemon too, but anyways, I just defeated it. But then, the strangest thing happened. I'm just gonna let it play, so you can see it for yourself. Okay, uh, I have no clue what happened here. I just talked to, uh, to all the people, and I didn't read what they were actually saying. And uh, now I'm drowning, I'm drowning. I thought I would die, but I didn't die. I got teleported back again somewhere else, somewhere far, far away from that village. But let's uh, review that footage. I wanna know. Okay, she asked if I want to go to the plane of water? What in the world is that? Anyways, uh, I'm back out in the wild. <laughs> And I began my journey back to that village. I was not done there yet. And let me tell you, this was a long walk. And it got dark almost right away. So me and my Pokemon, we have to make a camp out here in the forest. It's a new day and I continue my journey back to the village. But I got distracted by a ghost tower close by. Upon my arrival there, there was a wild Pokemon battle going on. And the winner of that battle went for my head. But don't you guys worry, my Pokemon are superior. And I battled my way up to the very top of the ghost tower, where a boss stood. This one did defeat me, but I still collected the loot and I took a leap of faith off the structure. I was back walking in the dense forest again, and I stumbled upon a fellow trainer, and we had a very friendly battle. 
He shows to Paris, and I had my chameleon. Wait, <laughs> this looks awful familiar. Where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, and I think the outcome is going to be the same here too. A legendary Pokemon spawned, but it was the same one that I've caught, so I just ignored it and moved on. It was dark again, and me and my Pokemons, we were tired, so we set up another camp here. I'm getting really close to the village again finally. But I came over this new Pikachu, and I wanted to know which Pikachu was the better one. And yes, my Pikachu was the best Pikachu. But anyways, I just continued walking here in the forest, picked up all the loot along the way, and I got myself a Moon Ball. Some time has passed, and I was finally back in the village again. So I healed up my Pokemon, and I went looking for that woman who sent me away. I think I found her, but now she was just talking nonsense. So I let bygones be bygones. Another raid was active nearby, and we were fighting a Farfetch. Thanks to my legendary Pokemon, it got defeated right away. So I decided to leave this village in search of a new one with another gym. I went up the mountains, even found a Beedrill boss up there, and well, he was not playing around and left me nearly Pokemon-less. So I kept on walking, and I was in another dark forest, but in that forest I found a new village. I looked around and did the usual plundering, but there were no gym here, and since I had some sunshine left, I continued my journey. Then Entei spawned, and I located the Entei high up on the mountain, and I challenged it to a battle. I don't know what he's doing, but he kept kicking me out of the battle. He did that so many times. But I'm not gonna give up. And we battled for a very long time. I did everything correctly. I got his health down to the last 20%. I even made it confused. Pikachu even kissed it. But he refused to get caught. It was right before sunrise. And I felt defeated, tired. So out of frustration, I threw one last Pokeball at him. And I caught him. Oh, what? I caught it? So I caught it by, by throwing. First throw it. Oh my goodness. It's a Mega Charizard. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so it's already a new day and I was chasing down a Mega Charizard that just spawned. But getting close to that Charizard was impossible because I cannot fly. Mark my words, Charizard. I'm gonna get you next time. But hey, I got a new Pokemon. We can't forget to celebrate my newly caught uh, Entei. He's very tiny though. Not sure what to feel about that. But I love using him as a travel companion. He's quick and small. I can use him to even traverse the forest. And we continue searching for a new gym to defeat. Not too long after, I picked up more loot. And I actually got an orb from this one. That is crazy and very lucky. I didn't even know you can get those from loot. Found a new graveyard again. This one is slightly different looking, I think. And I am ashamed to say this, but I did uh, dig up the graves again, uh, but uh, here the chests were empty too. So I left this place in disappointment. Some time has passed and uh, Latio spawned. I was right next to the ocean and I saw it flying. I did try to catch it and stuff, but that guy just flew away like Charizard did. I cannot wait for my chameleon to evolve soon. Then those guys cannot escape me. Anyway, it got dark again, so I took shelter in a nearby boat close to the shore. As I woke up in this boat, uh, I picked up a fishing rod, had a morning battle with a trainer, threw a few Pokeballs at a Hitmonlee, but I quickly gave up on that as I went to find a new village. And I did actually find a relative tiny village with a new gym. Right before going to bed though, Rayquaza spawned, but I couldn't do anything but watch it fly away. Good morning you guys, I'm in a new village with a gym, but I don't want to fight this gym right away. I want to do more training first. So I ran around the forest to find wild Pokemon to defeat. Okay Chameleon, we gotta do something a bit meaner now. You see that uh, Pokemon there? The one with the tongue out? I want you to burn it. Oh my goodness. You missed. A new Mega Alakazam appeared, but I got defeated big time once more. Some time has passed and we have another legendary Pokemon here in the woods. I figured I would just defeat it to level up my Charmeleon, but uh, <laughs> he destroyed me somehow. He fainted all of my Pokemon. So in a moment of anger, I killed it. <laughs> My goodness, I have killed another Pokemon and this was a legendary. Apparently I made it so that I can personally deal damage to Pokemon myself. I'm definitely gonna get some hate for doing this. <laughs> I am the most powerful Pokemon of them all. The next day I continued battling wild Pokemon, even caught a new one, a cute tiny Pikachu lookalike. But uh, honestly nothing interesting happened. Besides the uh, Steelix appearing, I lost to it the first time, but in my second attempt I gave uh, Sashian his sword and we defeated the Steelix and my Chameleon received a lot of experience points. As I woke up the next day, there was a freaking Mega Rayquaza, a huge big boy hovering. You me both, we know what the outcome will be. Yes, yes, you're, co you're completely right. He crushed me, and I went down to the Pokemon Center to heal up my defeated Pokemon, and by the time I returned, he was gone. But we have plenty of days to get our revenge, so I continued having more Pokemon battles, and my Charmeleon is now level 35. Just one more level, and it will evolve. So that is my goal for today. Get Charmeleon the chosen one to evolve into Charizard. I gave it a tiny XP boost that I had, and battled more Pokemon, and finally at sunset, it happened. Oh, Chameleon is evolving! It's evolving! Oh, don't go into the tree! Oh my goodness, you just you ruined the shot! Oh my goodness! Look at my Charizard! Oh. 
and that means I can finally fly. Ooh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. It is day 20 and it's time for me to challenge the gym leader of this village. Getting to those minor bosses were no easy task. I had to parkour my way up to the very top, but I'm good at that luckily. To my surprise, Charizard defeated all of the minor bosses and I let my Gyarados deal with the gym leader. And I was victorious. It's very good, very easy, very good and easy. This gym is defeated and this village doesn't have anything left to offer me. So I flew away on my Charizard. Man, I love that. That is one of my highlights with Pixmon, the ability to fly on my Charizard. That is the biggest pleasure I'm getting from this game. <laughs> I just wish 8 year old me could try this. I decided to fly north towards where I spawned in this world to see if I missed anything. I found a new village, it looked really nice but there were no gyms, so I just continued flying. And I'm in the same place where I got teleported after being in a water plane world. Charizard, what have you done? What have you done here, huh? Oh Charizard, how could you? It's a new morning and me and my Charizard, we flew further. We have actually reached a jungle. I absolutely love these jungles. They look so good. So I flew above to see if I saw something like a temple or anything really. But the only thing that I did see was a single Pokemon center. So I parked my Charizard next to it and I went into the jungle. Met a scissor boss, but gosh, they are too high of a level for me. So after losing, I placed my legendary Pokemon Session into my PC to decrease the level of the bosses. I feel bad. I feel like I'm kind of forgotten about my Pikachu. So you guys know what? I'm gonna start training him. From defeating that Steelix the other day, I got something called Wishing Stone and I threw it into a den and I started a raid. And this raid was against a Zubat and I actually caught it afterwards. Can I catch a Zubat? Hey, I got him. <laughs> Then Pikachu and I, we walked together and battled all the wild Pokemon we saw. At the end of the day, we met a Sceptidal boss. And with some help from Charizard, we barely, just barely defeated it. A new boss was apparently stuck in a free, so I cut down a tree to reveal what Pokemon boss it was. It was an electric dog Pokemon. I tried battling it twice actually, but I lost badly. But there were a super duper tiny boss right next to us, and we crushed him right away. Not too long after, Entei spawned again. I don't intend to catch it, but I would like to defeat it to earn more experience points for my Pikachu. So I brought my legendary out from the PC to help out. Another boss appeared, and uh, no, we, I, I stood no chance at all. I just now realized that leveling up my Pikachu in a jungle with a bunch of grass Pokemon uh, weren't my brightest idea. <laughs> so let us go somewhere else. I actually found a jungle temple, went in there to get the loot, then a legendary Pokemon spawned called uh, Tapu Tapa, I don't know. I wanted to catch it, but my Charizard is just too powerful and it, it, it killed it. The show one is just that good already. It sucks, but it is what it is. So I marked this jungle temple on my map in case I want to come back here to catch Mew. But now we found ourselves at the beach. Very beautiful beach. An excellent place for Pikachu to fight and for me to relax and just enjoy the view. Oh my goodness. Pikachu, look. Pikachu, look. Look who stood here and waited for us. I'm gonna catch it, Pikachu. I'm gonna catch it. As I woke up the next day, the legendary Pokemon, uh, I, I cannot pronounce it, I'm sorry, Sushine? Tukuse? I don't know. But that legendary Pokemon stood right next to me. And I tried catching it without having to battle, but it was not working. So I engaged a battle with it. I got the health bar down to red and everything. But this guy here, he, he refused to be caught. I literally stood on this beach for the entire day. And finally, after many, many attempts, I got it. Oh, yes, finally. Oh, that just took forever. And right before bedtime, Tapu spawned again. And uh, as I tried lowering itself, uh, I killed it again once more. Let us continue searching for something else and new, hopefully a village. And you know, I found two new villages, one with a gym and one without. So I stole and resold the items from both villages and bought many new Pokeballs. I know, I can make a farm and craft my Pokeballs myself, but right now I want to buy them instead. And at sunset, I came over a Lapras, but I couldn't reach it in time and suddenly it, it was gone. <laughs> oh. So, I'm in a new village right next to the ocean. Really nice place. I spoke to the people here to find out if anyone had anything interesting to say. Uh, they did not. So there was another Alakazam boss and I'm so tired of seeing that guy. So I just ignored him. A new Session spawned, but I ignored that too since I have it already. But I did do a lot of fishing this day and had my Pikachu do some battling. I was hoping for Lepras to spawn again, but, uh, but it did not. Day 28 was a good day. I started the day by challenging the gym. These guys are around level 30, so it will be more challenging. But 
but still easy. But as I returned to heal my Pokemon, I talked to some of the villagers, and they were talking about Lugia staying in that uh, plane of water, and soon after, a guy could teleport me there. So I decided to go there willingly this time. So he teleported me somehow. Wait, how does these guys even do that? Anyways, I got there and I threw out my Gyarados right away, in hopes of riding it. Sadly, I drowned, and I got teleported back to the overworld. If I'm gonna spend time in planes of water, I'm gonna need to have water breathing potions or something of that sort. And now, I was in a random forest again. I defeated a boss near me and I tried my luck against a raid, but uh, that slow bro crushed us. Some good news though, I'm not too far away from the village and I came back there within seconds. And as I got there, a Lapras was swimming around. This was one stubborn Lapras and I spent nearly the entire night on this guy, but I caught it in the end. Oh, I caught him. I captured Lapras. That is good. <gasps> a Squirtle! A Squirtle! Come here, boy! Oh! Baby! This is why I said day 28 was a good day. I got myself a Squirtle! So my inventory is filled up already, and to save some space, I can craft myself a badge case. And that is my new goal! Oh, you see that? An Abra. Hey! <laughs> I actually managed to hit him. If I get too close, he's gonna teleport away, so I just gotta stand here. Oh, I got him! Nice! So I found a black apricorn, and I replanted it. Hopefully within days, I will have many of these. Then I trained my Squirtle. This guy has a lot of catching up to do. So I began leveling it up, and it even evolved. Oh my goodness, can you imagine when you become a Blastoise? You're bigger what, than me! Turtle. I came over this ultimate boss. <laughs> Honestly, no clue what Pokemon uh -huh. it was. But I should have never, never even tried battling it. It did not go my way at all. Big mistake. Okay, so these apricorns are taking a long time to, uh, I don't know, grow. I need to get those faster. So I flew to a nearby forest and there were many of them there. I was mainly looking for a black one as I wanted my badge case to be black. But throughout my entire day, I only ended up with one black apricorn. And many, many blue ones. I noticed a uh, beaver looking Pokemon drops apricorns and there was one up in a tree. And to get that guy down from there and battle him, I did that by cutting down his tree and destroying his home. <laughs> Okay, so wow, the apricorn tree that I planted has still, is still not ready. So I went back into the forest and picked up more apricorns. And considering I have so many blue ones, I guess my badge case can be blue too. So once I was happy and done with the forest, I entered the forge in the village and melted down the apricorns and crafted the blue badge case. Look at me, I'm a guy with uh, two badges. It was around bedtime when I decided to put my items in a chest and it started to rain. So I instantly thought this was my chance. It's night, it's raining, I'm right next to the ocean. This is my chance to catch Kyogre. So me me and Lepras went out there hoping it would spawn. <gasps> oh my goodness, that scared me. Jesus, okay. Alright, my goodness. Oh my goodness, you scared me. Oh my, we got a Gyarados here. Mega Gyarados. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's red? That was terrible. That was terrible. And I had to swim the entire way back. This took forever. I wasn't back to shore before the next day. Okay, so once I healed up my Pokemon and everything, I wanted to return to the ocean. I want to defeat that Gyarados. And this time, I'm bringing with me my legendary Pokemon. And I'm also gonna bring with me a boat, just in case. So me and Lapras were swimming around, and at the opposite side of the ocean, there was a super cold, empty, dead ice biome with a single Pokemon center. For being so cold and empty and stuff, uh, it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty to look at. But we returned to the ocean again, and yes, we found it. And yes, it kicked our butt once again. And I managed to drop my boat at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I, uh excuse me, I thought those boats float. Someone I need to tell not to fix this game. But I did manage to get the boat again, and I rode back to the village in shame. As I woke up, another ice dog has spawned during the night, and I defeated it and gained more XP. And at the same time, another legendary, or may maybe it's a mythical Pokemon, uh, but it was called Manaphy, and it, it has spawned in the ocean. So I ran to the store to buy some dive balls, and uh, well, I, I dived into the ocean to find it. It took some time, as it is incredible hard to see anything down there, but I did manage to find it in the end, and I engaged a Pokemon battle with it. Spent the entire day underwater, and still it refused to get caught. And it actually ended up killing all of my Pokemon. So just out of frustration, I threw the rest of my diving balls. Oh, I captured a Magikarp? <laughs> I hit a Magikarp? I saw another Gyarados boss in the morning, and I went back into the ocean again. But I quickly returned to land, because I have nearly forgotten about the gym. There's been too many distractions these past days. So I returned to the gym and continued battling the mining bosses there. Oh, until I noticed there was a Gyarados raid. So <laughs> I got distracted again and joined the raid. <laughs> oh god, he made his Magikarp big. <laughs> well... We lost big time, but you won't believe what I saw at the beach. A living sandcastle? Is this seriously a Pokemon? Am I out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. 
It's a new day, and today I focus on the gym. Okay, I got distracted by a tiny slow bro boss that defeated me, but I quickly returned to the gym again, and I actually caught a new Pokemon at the end of the day. Look at Krabby here. Nice Krabby. I'm gonna catch you because I just, I just, I like how you look, okay? And if you like me, you will just get caught. Ah, figured as much. Okay, so today I will have full focus on the gym. It didn't take long before the gym leader was the last man standing. I did lose our first battle, but not crazy much. And uh, honestly, I wanted to be done with this quickly. So I grabbed my legendary session from the PC and left the gym leader speechless. It is done. I got myself the Earth Gym Badge. And I placed it right next to my other ones. Then, uh, I don't know what I did. Until suddenly Letio spawned again. And now, now I can fly. So I flew after it and started a battle in the middle of the ocean. I threw many, many Pokeballs. I got so close so many times. Waiting, waiting. But every time I thought I caught it, it escaped. And before I knew, it has defeated all of my Pokemon. And I was stranded in the ocean again. But luckily there was a Pokemon Center near me, so I swam over to it and healed off my Pokemon inside. Accessed my PC again to get my dog. And I flew after Latios. It was gone, but something else was here. A Latios boss. And I defeated it easily. It was so easy, I, I almost feel bad because it didn't attack me once. Not a single time. And it is a new day again. And currently we are in a new biome. A desert one. But before we go exploring, I want to go back to the village to drop some of my loot and mark it for later. So that I can come back here to pick it up. There was also a new raid here at the beach. And I had to participate. Like, it's so awesome coming together like this and, uh, and fight a powerful Pokemon together. And yes, we actually won. And I received a lot of loot. I even caught that Pokemon we were fighting. After that, I left and flew back to the desert. Honestly, I'm so glad to be a new biome. Because... I think I've been in the same one for many days now, just just forests and mountains. But this is awkward, I got stuck in the mud and I couldn't escape. <laughs> nice, nice job. Right next to me there was a starter Pokemon I think. It took many attempts, but I did manage to catch it in the end. I, I keep saying this, these guys look like babies with diapers. I mean look at that, doesn't look like a baby with, with a big, big head diaper. But let us explore this new biome. It is a desert one and I am expecting the legendary Pokemon Groudon to appear. In the meantime, I participated in another raid. I thought this was going to be easy, but uh, we lost, sadly. So I decided to battle against a level 40 trainer, so that my Wartortle can get more experience points. I won a battle, but both Pikachu and Wartortle fainted. So now I just hope there's a village or Pokemon Center nearby. And <laughs> would you know, there was a village right on the other side of this hill. And it even had a gym. That is great and wow, just like I ordered. A Groudon has appeared. So I ran down to the village to heal up my Pokemon, then I returned to challenge the Groudon. My first attempt did not go my way, and the Groudon defeated all of my Pokemon, so I went to my PC to pick up Sashian and try it again. Groudon is actually one of my favorite legendary Pokemon, and Pokemon generally. It looks so cool. What are some of yours? He's very weak. We can do this. He's very weak. Oh, I got him! Nice! Nice! It didn't take that long. I can actually sleep this night. It's good. That is very good. So far, I've caught four legendary. Not too bad, but I could have had more. But let us explore this new desert village. I noticed that many of the villagers were stuck in a mud pit. And wow, look at this. The mud has broken two structures. Team Rocket is here and another bad team. I had to defeat both of them. Then I tried my luck in another raid and we won. And not only that, my War Turtle finally evolved into Blastoise. Oh, finally, War Turtle is evolving. Bad. What? what kind of camera angle is this? Are you kidding me? I want to see it. I want to see it happen. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, go away. What? No, I'm in the way. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. I already or almost have my dream team. Blastoise. I remember. I remember you were a Squirtle just a couple of days ago and look at you now. I explored further and uh, the gym here is actually an ice gym. A ice gym in the desert. Huh. Checks out. I wanted an aerial view of this village. And look at this, there's so many extra Pokemon centers here. And not only that, a place where you can summon the legendary bird Pokemon Moltres. Perhaps I should use my orb that I got on that day. I don't know, I've had it forever without using it. I'm getting more and more items lately. And I think it would be nice with a tiny home base for me to store my things. So I spent much time flying around to see what I could find. And I actually found another village here in the desert. No gyms though. And as I entered the savanna, I got a message that a legendary has spawned in a den. In the river biome. I tried to locate it, but the game must be lying to me. I battled in another raid, but this was not against a legendary Pokemon. So I kinda gave up and explored more. Found another village. A savanna village. It looks really nice. I wanted to explore and look at the savanna some more. It looks really, really good. 
One of the best savannas I've seen. Then the mythical Pokemon Victini spawned. I actually knew that that was a mythical Pokemon and not a legendary. So I went looking for that little guy. Nearly impossible to find as he is as big as my toe. But I did find a Victini eventually and uh, it killed all of my Pokemon and just refused to be captured. I'm speechless. I spent the entire night trying to catch it without being successful. It is morning now and the Victini is still not in my Pokeball. I had enough of this. I had enough of this Victini and I just smacked it and moved on. Then a new legendary Pokemon spawned. The legendary dog uh, Raiko I think it's called. This is the last one of the trio that I don't have, so I tried catching this one instead, but I was low, very low on Pokeballs. And sadly, in the end, I ran out. Okay, here goes my final Pokeball. Final Pokeball. Please. Ah, oh, I broke free. And it killed me. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill me. So I revived my Charizard and flew away. There's many, many Pokemon centers around here, so I will start making some money and buy many, many more Pokeballs. I came over even more villages. And <laughs> look at this. This is kind of dumb. Why is there another ice gym here in the desert? This is a different village from before, by the way. I'm like at the opposite side of the desert now. And not too far away, we have another village at the border of the desert with a steel gym. Okay, nice. So I picked up some loot and rested here. The next day, I continued to explore and looted all the Poke centers I saw. Ah man, I'm telling you guys, there's many villages here. Some of those that I found today even had gyms. Look at this. This is where you uh, get the flute to call for Arceus, I believe. And look at this village. The desert temple is faced into one of the houses. I will explore that later. Today I just want to loot. And at the end of the day, I returned to the first desert village that I came to. And I sold all of the items that I've stolen to the shopkeepers. And I got nearly 100,000 uh, poke money. The shopkeepers were not selling Ultra Balls today, so instead I bought 64 regular Pokeballs. As the new day started, I got a message that there was a legendary raid close by. I am not familiar with this legendary Pokemon, but I want it. The raid began, and I chose Groudon as my champion. And he did a fine job. That guy deserves all the compliments I can give him. But goddammit, the other trainers did not do much to help, and we ended up losing, even though my Groudon never fainted. It is what it is. So I flew to a nearby Poké Center to get more loot. And my Blastoise defeated a wild Kangaskhan. And once it got dark, I resold more items in a different shop and bought 64 Ultra Balls. I am now ready and prepared to catch more legendaries. I did not do anything today, really. Like I said, I want to build a home base. And I figured I could defeat a gym and transform it into my base. But I'm so undecided. It's a huge, long-lasting decision to do. And perhaps having my base in the middle of many different biomes? Like this village is connected to the savanna, the desert, the dark forest, and the ocean is right next to it too. And not only that, there's an extreme hill close by. So yeah, I did not do much today. I used the journey map for the most part to just look around. I'm sorry, I am still undecided on where to settle down. So I decided I will do what other trainers do, and that is Pokemon battle. I fought against some bosses, lost against that one guy, and I actually defeated another Groudon. I kind of wanted to capture it, as it was bigger than mine, but I don't want to waste my Pokeballs right now. Then I finally challenged the gym. And it went very well. I got steel and fire moves that the ice Pokemon are weak against. So most of these minor bosses went down without much struggle. Even if they are equal level to me. And at night, Raikou appeared again. And he was back to annoy me like never before. Oh my goodness, you forced me out again. Are you kidding me? Stop forcing me out. Oh my goodness, he keeps forcing me out. He keeps forcing me out of the battle. It's so annoying. Don't roar at me. If he roars at me, I'm gonna get so pissed. I got you now down to five health. I wanna keep you there. Yes! Yes! I got him! Oh my god. I'm really glad that I finally got Raikou. Now I actually have the entire legendary trio. But today, I went straight for the gym leader. Kept switching between my Blastoise and Sashion to get some more experience points. I really hope that I would have an XP share by now. Hopefully I will manage to get it soon. Anyhow, I defeated the gym leader and earned yet another badge. And look at this, there's so many bosses around me too. But uh, they were all gone by the time I healed up my Pokemon. I'm done. I'm done with this village. Let's go to the steel gym and try our luck there. Okay, I want to return to that water plane area. And I did a quick Google search and I've just now learned that I can craft myself an underwater breathing suit using water stones. So I need to get my hands on as many as possible. And I found out there's a high chance of getting uh, water stones by defeating these raids with water Pokemon in it. And I actually had a really fun raid on the next one. Oh yeah, I don't know if we will uh, win this one. Oh, one of them has a Togepi. That's so cool. Togepi, where are you? I don't see the Togepi. Is it on the water? Are we winning this actually? I think we're winning this. Oh um, did they just heal up? Are you kidding me? It's full health again. Okay, now it's back to 30. Oh, oh, tree. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, we did it. Good dynamite. Oh my goodness, so much good stuff. I don't know what Pokemon this is, but I want it. Please, can I catch it? No! Oh! <laughs> it, it is just too bad I didn't catch that Pokemon. Maybe another time. But, uh, but I continue going into raids, and before sunset, Latios appeared. I nearly got it. I threw around 30 Ultra Balls at it, but it suddenly just killed itself. Then a new Gyarados was near me. 
I managed to get half of itself, so I am slowly getting closer and closer to defeating it. I continue searching for water Pokemon raids, and you guys won't believe what I came over. A freaking boss Kyogre. Kyogre boss? Kidding me? I, I know I won't be able to defeat that guy. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Kyogre boss. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. I was lucky that it allowed me to escape. It fainted almost all of my Pokemon. I still have my Charizard. My goodness. Kidding me? Look at that guy. Sometime later, I did a mistake of letting my Charizard fight another boss Pokemon, and now I can't fly until I find a Pokemon Center. And I'm stranded in a cold, empty biome. I don't care if I catch it or not. I might catch it, I might not catch it, who knows? I got it. So uh, I'm still stuck out here in a frozen land. For in more raids, actually. I was not aware of this at the moment, but I think after doing a raid, your Pokemon party heals up too. I did not know this, but finally I got myself out of this biome and I entered a plain forest biome. And a new legendary Pokemon actually spawned. It was called Verisian, and it was nearby. Like, I was right next to it, but I couldn't see it. And after running around in a circle for a while, I just decided to cut down the trees, and then it finally appeared to me. We had a battle for the entire night. I tried to get its health bar down to red, but uh, in doing so, I killed it instead. That, that was unfortunate. But on the bright side, I made it back to the desert village with the gym that I previously defeated. I saw on the map that there were a new gym very close to where I got the earth badge. I was only a few blocks away from it, but I didn't see the village. So I decided to fly there. I also made a quick stop in that village to pick up the loot that I stored. Before reaching my destination, I saw a new raid. And right after defeating that Pokemon there, both Latios and a Mega Blastoise appeared. I chose to challenge the Blastoise, but, uh, but I stood no chance. So I escaped and flew to the village. Water tower. This is, this is the first time seeing it, actually. If I remember correctly, these uh, towers are like empty, right? Yes, nothing in here. Got a splash plate. I still don't understand what these water towers are for. Like, how? What is, what is the meaning of them in the game? Like, what's the story? Do I have to do something to get people here, or do anyone? Do anyone know? Just a few seconds later, I made it to the village with the gym. Huh? These guys here were not equal to my level, so I should have battled these guys many days ago. So I basically just speedrun this entire gym. I ran through all of the mini bosses. My Charizard defeated them with ease. And at the same night, I defeated the gym leader and earned myself a new badge. At the beginning of a new day, I battled and won a new raid. But seriously, I really, really need a place to store all of my items. So I flew down again to the savanna, to the village with the sealed gym. I have to choose a place to build my home. I don't know why I'm being so difficult around this and uh, being so undecided. It got dark quickly and two legendary Pokemon spawned in a raid. I challenged the Hoopa, but uh, we lost to it. Then I tried battling the Groudon that spawned in a den. We were actually surviving, and we were actually very close to defeating the Groudon, but I guess we took too long, and uh, so we lost. Okay, I have finally decided to move to this village. This village, as I've said before, this village has a gym. It's between three biomes, Hyga Forest, a desert, and the savanna. And close by we have the ocean, and a huge beautiful mountain. I chose this house here as my template. So I began modifying the house slightly. But I realized I had no building blocks, so I demolished this Pokemon Center in the wild. And look at the site, beautiful mountain. So I started constructing my house today, finally. I'm not aiming to build something huge or anything crazy. A mega Grodon. How can I ignore something like that? Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to build and look at the guy. Oh my goodness. Just a small nice place where I can store my items and so on. But I cannot believe how bad it looks. It's already a new day and this looks bad. This looks really, really bad. Okay, the tree weren't that bad, okay? What is this? What have I done? A boring flat white and red box? I can do better. So for the next three days, I'm going to demolish this crap and rebuild something better. And the first day was mostly just demolishing, but still my new house is not going to be crazy fancy or anything. I've decided I wanted to look like a simple, charming Pokemon looking house. And there we have it. Hey, it's a new day and look at this, it's my new home. Uh, I need to add some glass eventually. A small balcony here. I can look at the desert village and the ocean and stuff. And yeah, let's go down. Here's my main space. Only furniture I have now is a chair. Not, not a bad chair, you know. Me and my bad jet. Okay, so I want to return to the plains of water and I want that underwater breathing suit. So I went into the ocean to find water shards. But this process is taking a long time. I'm finding a water shards, but I need to collect many of those to craft a single water stone. Then I battled and won against a Sharkio boss. And for the rest of the day, I did some uh, inventory management. And I also crafted myself a healer and placed it in my home. 
Okay, here's another option I have. I used my Pokemon ability to search for loot, but it turns out this was also a very time consuming process and I didn't even get water shards often. I got like two sponges right away, so I participated in a new raid and we won. Then after that I defeated a Mangma boss and I won again. As I left my house in the morning, I battled a legendary boss Gengar. Uh, lost badly of course. I even stumbled upon a master loot. Okay, so it's been a few days since I last got my badge, so I decided to challenge the gym leader of this village. But instead of just defeating it right away, I figured I can try and increase the level of my lower level Pokemon. It did not take long before all of the mini bosses were defeated and I challenged a gym leader. But a gym leader defeated me, but that is no problem, I would have won if I didn't switch between my lower level Pokemon and my, my best Pokemon. Then it got dark and I noticed a new Victini. I challenged it, got the health down to the very last 5% and I tried catching it, but in the end I failed and it killed itself somehow. I returned to the gym leader the next day. I was still trying to level up my Pokemon, but in the end I decided to just win and earn this badge. I got the mineral badge, I got 6 badges now. And a Kangaskhan boss spawned, a legendary boss. I really, really wanted to defeat it, like I spent the entire night trying to win. But in the end, uh, I failed. I got really close however, really close. If only my Pokemon speed was higher. The next day I went up to the extreme hills to hopefully fight something cool like a Charizard. But no bosses or legendary, nothing interesting was happening up there. And before bedtime, a portal to Ultra Space appeared. And I decided to go in there. I am in Ultra Space. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Ultra Space, but you can get some good loot there. And I didn't really have an objective, I just traveled there. But I spent the entire day fighting some raids, and I, I explored, I picked up some loot, a lot of loot. And I nearly collected all of the plates that I need for the Arceus flutes. I even got a new Pokemon uh, called the uh, Poly 2. Never heard of it before, is that a pre-evolution to a uh, Porygon? I picked up some of those uh, red uh, nether things, and by the end of the day, I jumped out of Ultra Space. I was back in a normal world, and I entered my home, stored all of my items and healed up my Pokemon. There was a legendary Slowbro outside, I did challenge it, but I stood no chance, and not too long after, an epic Kangaskhan appeared, and I actually did defeat it. And finally, I was rewarded the XP share item. Okay, new plan, I want to go to the plains of water, but I need to be able to breathe on the water, and getting that water stone armor will take too long, so I will try and just make normal water breathing potion instead. I looked up what Pokemon that I needed to defeat to craft the Brewing Stand and the Potion. So I defeated a Mangmar and got a Blaze. I also defeated a Shiny Diglett boss too. Then I participated in a new raid and I just looked around until a Mega Beedrill appeared. Once I learned its weakness, I defeated it too. Then the legendary or maybe mythical Pokemon Nehupa appeared again, and this time in the wild. I tried weakening it, but I did weaken it a bit too much and <laughs> sadly it got defeated. And before going to sleep, I defeated a Pokemon that gave me the Pufflefish item. To get the last items that I need, I decided to travel to the nether. I've collected many obsidian blocks since the beginning, either via loot or boss battles, and I had more than enough to make myself a portal. So I picked a house next to mine and turned it into some type of a nether house, I guess. Then I entered the nether. I'm not gonna lie, this place looks really cool. Even has vegetation and everything. My goodness, I was not expecting this. But man, does this place confuse me. A fortress was actually super close to my portal, and a legendary Pokemon spawned. It was called... Uh, I forgot what it was called, but and I never saw it or even found it. But I was down here in the nether for two days straight. I defeated some bosses. I found something really crazy too. It, it, it's like a beehive or something? What in the world is this? I don't even think this is Pokemon related. Anyways, it, that, that thing scared me, so I moved on. Battle many slimes in the lava. Then suddenly, a new legendary Pokemon spawned. Took me forever to find it, uh, but apparently it was under the lava and I did challenge it. Oh my goodness, it's red. This is my time to shine. I want you. Yes, I got him. I caught a new legendary, Heatran. Yes, I caught a new legendary and this one is really cool. And not too long after, I yes. saw and defeated a Pokemon that gave me the Blaze Rod. Then I just told myself to get the hell out of here. As I arrived home, I knew I had to sort my items better. As of now, everything is a complete mess here. So I began building again. This time, I built a basement, same size as the two other rooms. And down here, I will have a bunch of chests and catalog everything, so that it will be very easy for me to store and find items. I was finally ready to make my water breathing potion. There were just a few blocks that I was missing, so I went out to collect some stones and sand. And I got destroyed by a Blastoise again. Those guys are difficult to defeat. I did destroyed my healer yesterday, so I crafted a new one and placed it down in my loot basement. I also crafted a brewing stand and placed it in my bedroom. I followed the recipe and started the brewing process. Uh, maybe I should have some water in these bottles? I'm one crazy trainer. Then I just uh, waited. But it didn't take that long, and I got myself three bottles of three minutes with water breathing. Okay, so I have some water breathing potion, but hey, 
If I added redstone, I could make one single bottle last up to 8 minutes. So I went out to defeat some wild pokemon until I received a few redstones. Luckily for me, many of the pokemons around here drops redstone. Once I collected a few, I returned to my bedroom and added the redstone. And now I got underwater breathing potion that will last for a very long time. But before going to the plains of waters, I should get some more pokeballs. But they didn't sell ultra balls here in the village today, so I left for another. And I almost forgot about that one village with the desert temple faced into one of the buildings. So I figured I should loot that before I forget again. I am ready to travel to the plains of water. I got my potions and my pokemon. We are ready. Look at this guys. Oh, I got the pokemon pants. Oh, I love that. I just need to find a villager here to take me there. I have seen them many, many times already, so this should be easy. Right around here... Okay, what is, what is going on in this house? There's like a hundred of villagers inside this house alone. What is the deal? What is this? A church? But oh, come on, where's where's my guy? Where's the guy who can teleport me? I ran around the entire village looking for him. Even traveled to another village, but I couldn't find anyone who would take me there. And now I'm suddenly in a desert storm. And an ultimate boss appeared. I stood no chance. Like, I dealt zero damage to it. Okay, so maybe I will travel to the plains of water today. Please. Where is the guy that can take me there? Oh my goodness. I have discovered a cave society in my village. What are all of these people doing here on the ground? Never seen these uh, glowing mushrooms. I love them. But sadly, I spent the entire day and night trying to find the quest with no luck. I did defeat the Gengar boss though. For some reason, there's no one in my village that can teleport me to the plains of water. So I left this village and looked for another NPC that can teleport me. I cannot believe how difficult this suddenly became. Before they came up to me all the time. And I ended up flying around for almost the entire day just searching for a new village. At sunrise, I found a cool hidden loot. It wasn't very hidden though. And now, I'm in a really, really nice flower biome. It looks so beautiful. Even capture one of my favorite Pokemon, Dredigen. That is a Pokemon you can trust. Then I just kept on searching for a new village. And a new legendary spawned in a raid den at the Birch Forest. We nearly got it, but in the end, we lost. And at the end of the day, I came over a tiny village. But you guessed it, nobody here would take me to the plane of water. So I spent the entire night up here in the extreme hill biome, uh, hoping something cool would appear. Okay, in the morning, I had to choose between catching a Charmander or fighting this Pidgeot boss. I ended up catching the Charmander. <laughs> I love Charmander, I'm sorry. But nothing much else happened. I stayed in another extreme hill biome and caught a new interesting Pokemon. You guys might like this one. And uh, if you do, know this, I caught this Pokemon for you. At some point during the night, the legendary Gensek appeared. Never seen this one before. And I spent literally the entire night and some of next day battling it and weakening it. And after throwing like 50 Pokeballs, I finally caught it. And during my celebration, a Mega Charizard appeared. It flew right next to me. Of course, I went after it and I challenged it. But I stood no chance, as most of my Pokemon was fainted or weak from the previous battle with the legendary Pokemon. So I lost to the Charizard. Right next to me there was a new village with a construction gym. I'm not going to bother with that, but I healed up my Pokemon and talked to the villagers here. Hopefully one of them can send me to the plain of waters. But no one did it here either. What is going on? I don't understand. At night I noticed a Tyranitar on the minimap. It was an ultimate Tyranitar boss. Now this guy is cool and I cannot believe that I actually defeated it. It was very weak against fighting moves. The next day I came over many more villages. I walked around and talked to people, but uh, no, no one wants to teleport me. Eventually I flew all the way back home. Over the last few days I've collected leather from defeating Pokemon. And now I can craft myself uh, frames from a loot basement. Even though my name is unsorted, I feel very sorted right now. What do you guys think? A Mega Blaziken was outside, but my Pokemon were too low of a level to defeat it sadly. I finally understand why I couldn't find anyone to teleport me. I need to have the quest active, then they would appear. And right after I did that, this guy appeared and he can teleport me to the plains of water. And he did. I had to turn off my shaders. But I used my water breathing potion right away and looked around. I know there's were many structures down here, so I figured I can swim over there to release my water Pokemon and ride it. My Lapras was inside my computer, and I can't place down the computer underwater. Just by an happy accident, I was carrying a lot of dirt in my inventory. And I removed all of the water inside this uh, thing and accessed my computer. Then, uh, wow. The moment I got Lapras out, it just ascended super fast upward and teleported me back to the overworld. Are you kidding me? Now I was under the ocean in an ice biome, far, far away from home. Ugh. But then I got an idea. I've caught an Abra a very long time ago, and I asked myself, can that Abra teleport me around? Wow, how did I not know this? I've played Pixmon for so long, but I did not know about this very useful future. Thank you, Abra. Another Victini spawned. I tried weakening it a lot, but instead I killed it. Okay, so I have an interesting quest available, and by completing it, I would apparently be able to explore the plains of water easier. 
Alright, and it wasn't even difficult. The quest is to capture six different water Pokemon. So I spent some quality time here on the desert beach doing exactly that. And once I caught enough, I had to return to the quest giver. Now who was that? <laughs> I have no freaking idea. I don't know where I got the quest. Perhaps it was in the first village with the rock gym. So I decided to fly all the way back to that village. Oh man, I kind of wish these uh, villages weren't that big. Anyway, I walked door to door to hopefully find the guy who gave me the quest. Apparently, I have received and completed many quests from this village. One guy even gave me a beast ball. It's a new morning and I'm still walking around here until a man appeared. He sent me to the plains of water. I still have my potions. I'm back in the plains of waters. Let's see if I actually can catch something in here. Oh, we got a Pokemon. I, I, I got it! I actually caught a... I don't know what I caught. I caught something. You guys tell me what I caught. I have no idea. What is that? A horse? Rap... Rap... Rapidash? Rapidash, isn't that like a fire Pokemon? Okay, can someone explain to me how I'm supposed to battle Pokemon here? When during the battles, my, my avatar sinks to the bottom and I get teleported back? Someone needs to teach me. But nice, I caught two different uh, Pokemon from there. Is it fire? Charizard, you, you, you did this, you remember you did this so long ago and it's still burning? It's funny. I'm now back in the village where I caught my Squirtle and where I got my Earth Badge. And I found a quest giver here. Ooh, what did he just do to me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can breathe underwater forever? This is super duper useful and kinda OP. And right after, a huge Aerodactyl boss appeared. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I defeated it. Anyways, I began flying back home. Okay, this is weird. Uh, now I suddenly can't breathe on the water anymore. I thought I would have this forever. It felt kinda pointless to do it now. And speaking of pointless, Latios or Latios, one of them spawned, and I spent the entire day fighting it. I weakened it, I lowered its uh, defense, and I did everything I could. And in the end, it used struggle and killed itself. Nice. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night using my XP share all item and battle as many Pokemon as possible. I am now battling the neighbor village ice gym. Uh, not to get the badge, just to level up my Pokemon. And now I'm in a savannah battling some raid. Man, I wish, I really wish I could have catched this one. Then I returned to the ice gym. And wow, look at this, another hoop I was hopping around. Ah, uh, I did not mean to defeat it. During the night, I also came over a new shiny Kyogre. And I'm getting my butt served by it. <laughs> what can I say? Kyogre is a powerful Pokemon, especially in its mega form. So the next day, I continue fighting the gym. And the Hopa appeared again. And <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> that Hopa is so weak. My goodness. Okay, so I did a thing. I looked up my seed online. And I found the nearest Mushroom Island. I want to Gigantamax my Pokemon. So I found it and marked it on my map. And I began flying there. It is far, far away. And I had to make multiple stops along the way. Every village that I found along the way, I looted. And look at this. A forge in one of these villagers had a cloning machine in a chest. I did not expect to find something like that in there. Eventually, I was in another ice biome. And I found an igloo. I rescued a trainer down there. Poor guy, you know. I'm just glad there, there were no zombies. I have finally reached the Mushroom Island. It was a super tiny Mushroom Island, and there was currently a big thunderstorm going on. I don't know why, but it, it was really scary if I'm being honest. I was expecting zombies and creepers to appear, but are you kidding me? There was just one single max mushroom here? Just one on this entire island? I need three of those for one single Pokemon. So I looked at my Pokemon for help, and they searched the entire island for loot. And if I'm lucky, they might find more mushrooms. I spent the entire day on this, and I was getting nearly no mushrooms. Maybe one out of 20 was a max mushroom. I spent some more time on this island but I realized this was just taking too long and it was a waste of time so I marked another mushroom island much further away and you guessed it most of today was spent flying there along the way though a legendary spawn in the den oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that look at that legendary Pokemon there's no way I'm winning there's absolutely absolutely no chance that I'm winning this oh I did a good attack there oh oh <gasps> He's left her free, we might do this. Okay, there goes one Pokemon. Oh no, my Pokemon died. Dead. No, we lost. So close. So close, but yet so far. Anyway, I kept on traveling. I came over many new villages and gyms. We found a flying gym, an electric gym, and also a bug gym. So I just made a quick pit stop here, and I defeated the gym leader super quickly. That is a new gym defeated and a badge earned. Now I got the bug badge. Oh my goodness, look at this island. Flower forest island. Can you guys imagine living on an island like this? If I ever got rich, I'd get myself an island like this, and I would just like live here and die here. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it here. 
so I just continued flying until I reached my destination. This mushroom island was 10 times the size of the other one, and I got many, many max mushrooms, way more than I actually needed. And I was nearly done with this shooting star quest. I just need to defeat a couple of more Pokemon, and I should be able to Gigantamax my Pokemon. So that is what I did. I stayed here on a mushroom island and battled some Pokemon. I even caught myself a Parasect. I was done here, and I have a long journey ahead, so I began flying back home. Then I came over another gym and a new jungle. Have you guys ever seen this before? I have never seen this before. This looks wrong, but I kind of dig it. Like these biomes shouldn't touch each other, you know? How can you go from a tropical jungle to like a ice biome? I arrived home at sunrise and I had many new items in my inventory and today was almost like a move-in day, I, guess. I don't know. I want to decorate my house with more stuff that I've collected. Like I placed down this fridge. Hey, you can't just walk in here, you know? And also I'm team ground down, you know? I crafted the windows, we finally have windows in here, a new chair upstairs, I also placed a PC in the bedroom and one in the basement, and during the night I battled the last remaining Pokemon in my quest. Oh, Abra is evolving, Kadabra. But apparently the quest was not over, and now I have to catch 16 more Pokemon, so I began I doing just that, dog. and things got out of control at night. Oh my goodness, look at this mess here, we have a legendary there, we have a boss there, and look at this, there we go. <laughs> No, it, it got defeated instantly. No, it's defeating all of my Pokemon right away. I stood no chance. Not cool, man. Not cool. I don't know why I kept trying. I bought uh, X speed hoping that would help, but uh, nope. Are you celebrating that you defeated me so many times? Eventually, I, uh, I was forced to give up and capture more Pokemon. And I did. I caught many, many Pokemon. Victini spawned again, and uh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was distracted by something, and I, I, and I just killed it. Oopsie. Then I walked out of the savannah and up the hill and caught more there. Then I was back in the forest behind my house and captured even more Pokemon. It's day 90, only 10 more days. And I'm out here catching more Pokemon, until I caught enough of them. And I was told to speak with the professor here in the village. Now, let's find uh, Professor Travis. He should be... He's out there in the woods. Is that Professor Travis? Okay, he's uh, looks like more like a male man, but uh, I'm sh sure. Sure. And I have to defeat trainers. This guy just won't give me a break, will he? I returned to my house and I decided to just make the mech soup now. I made like four of them, but I only gave it to my Charizard and my Pikachu. And I will save up the other ones for later. And also be collecting these uh, Gigantamax uh, candies since the very beginning. And I actually had enough to get Charizard to the highest Gigantamax level. And I even had some leftovers for Pikachu. So the shooting star quest was not done yet. Now I have to defeat more trainers. Okay, I will do that, but I won't fight them here. I will travel to that bird gym we saw before and battle traders there and hopefully win a badge at the same time. Couple myself a new Wolpix too, a white one. During my journey there, a legendary Pokemon spawned in a den. What, they all have two Togepies and a Jolten? We're ne I'm never gonna catch this one. I'm never gonna catch this one. As much as I want it, it's never gonna happen. Look at these guys. They have a 59 Jolten and a 59 Togepi. Two 59 Togepi. Okay. And we lost the Jolten. That's one out. Togepi, why are you healing me? Does it look like I need a healing? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, are we real winning? Oh, we did it! Wow. No! Was that one of the first legendary I defeated? Really sucks that I didn't catch it, but I am proud that I won at least. It is a new day, and the journey continued. And please forgive me for what happened next. Hmm. Articuno? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I was I was eating chips and a legendary Pokemon spawn and I hit the wrong key and I jumped off my Charizard. This was the only time I turned on sheets and teleported me to the death scene. Please, let us pretend that never happened, okay? But uh, around sunset, I think, uh, it's hard to tell due to the sandstorm and stuff. But at last I arrived in the village with the flying gym. And for the rest of the night, I went door to door and battled all the trainers here in the village. We are on day 92 and most of the trainers here are defeated. And I made a decision. I have around 20 rare candies and I actually used them to level up my Sashion to level 100. Hopefully with a level 100 Pokemon, I can defeat more bosses and level up the rest of my Pokemon even faster. So I plan to challenge the gym, but uh, Latia spawned. And you know how this goes. 
I really, really wanted to get it. I've tried so many times already, but nope. In the end, it used struggle and um, and it died. A Mega Blastoise saw everything, and I actually defeated it. That means I can Mega Evolve my Blastoise now. Then I flew back to the gym and battled the minor bosses there, but it was not going my way, so I spent the rest of the day battling the other trainers in the water. The gym battle continues, and I used a different move, and I KO'd all of their Pokemon, most of them at least. So I just kept doing this and defeated minor bosses one at a time. Eventually, I decided to play a session in my PC and the minor boss's Pokemon level decreased and thanks to that my Groudon stomped through them all. The next day I continue battling the gym. I've actually defeated enough trainers and completed my quest. All I need to do is just return to the quest giver in my village. But before I do that I must get this badge here. And right now the gym leader is the only one left standing as I have defeated the rest. There's very few days left and I'm happy to announce that today I have beaten the feather gym and earned myself a new badge. I did it. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 badges. 8 badges. Nice. So I began my journey back home to talk to the professor. Early in the morning I was back in my home village and I spoke to the professor. And I received my Dynamax band for completing the quest. And I can officially Gigantamax my Charizard and Pikachu. But I, but I continue working on my backyard until a Victini spawned. This was a golden opportunity for me to see my Pokemon Gigantamax and also perhaps I could finally catch Victini. I did not. Oh my goodness, look at my Pikachu. <laughs> it's so big. So I returned to my house and made a tiny path outside. Then I moved things around inside and did the tiny changes. I want to make it as nice as possible. As my new day started, I knew how it would go. Latia spawned. And I really hoped that I could end my 100 days with a legendary Pokemon catch. But after wasting the entire day and most of my Pokeball, it used struggle and killed itself. <sighs> hey, on the bright side, look at this. I'm defeating most of these bosses now. I couldn't come close before. So I decided to travel to the extreme hill next to my village and hopefully find and kill the Mega Charizard. While I waited, I realized I should buy more Pokeballs in case I needed it. And I'm so glad that I did that. Because after going down to the shop and returning back here the next day, Rayquaza spawned. Oh my goodness, Rayquaza. Oh my goodness, look at my Groudon. It's so big. Wait, what is it? Oh, it is a shiny. Is that shiny? I don't know. No, the records were mega evolved. Look at it. What happened to it? How does this happen? <gasps> okay, I did not expect it to lose that much health. That was scary. Kinda sucked that I don't have a good camera angle on this, like the Rayquaza saw is inside the tree. I can't believe it. It's 0 0.9 health. At least I have many Pokeballs. I have 65 Pokeballs. So this is gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna give up before I have zero Pokeballs or if it faints them. But the issue is, I only have one revive left. So if Sashian were to be defeated, well... <gasps> yes, I got him! I got him! I got Rekos! Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so happy! Look at this, guys. We did end up with a legendary at the end. We are on day 98 and look at my new Rekos! My goodness, this is like 10 times better than those stupid Latios and Latinos, I don't know. I don't want those guys, I want this one. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I got it. That is so amazing. I am so happy. But still today, I want to continue spending time here in the Extreme Hill. I want to defeat a Charizard. But uh, no Charizard appeared. I defeated an Entei and I used a Wishing Stone in a den and caught a new Pokemon. I stayed here in the Extreme Hills today too. Even a new Rayquaza spawned, but, uh, but I let it go. Then honestly, nothing, nothing happened. I just stood here. Kind of disappointing. Now you can see my Charizard. Oh, <gasps> it's black! It's black in Mega Evolution form. A gigantic. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. But I love it. It's all, it's still black. I thought it would change color, but it's still black. Looks even more awesome now. We are on day 100, you guys. It is day 100, my last day, and I'm up here in the Extreme Hills still. Hoping a uh, Mega Charizard would uh, spawn. There's no Charizard planning to spawn anytime soon, huh? If that is the case, I might as well just give up now. Oh, we got the Victini, huh? Annoy me. You know what? No. I will not catch you, Victini. No. Victini, you can just go. I don't care. I'm starting to dislike you with a passion right now. Alright, that was it. 100 days. Let me give you guys a quick tour. Wait, actually, there's something I want to do. There's something I want to do. Borrow some wool, okay. Make some carpet. Carpets over these uh, lights. I guess it's just gotta do for now. Aha! That is it, you guys. 100 days. Let me guys give you a quick tour of my home during the night. So here's my main room. Here's some chests. These are not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be like a main living room. Mostly just decoration. Nothing 
useful, like maybe just like the furnace, the, the fridge and stuff like that. If we go downstairs, we're in my loot basement, as you guys know. And down here I have the healing machine, and I've tried to sort all of the items. Like here's some like vanilla Minecraft stuff that uh, might be useful. Here's some like more high value stuff. And uh, here's some stones and orbs. Uh, just some, uh, mega things and the plates and then we can go a floor up to to my bedroom here's where i have my bed our own computer a brewing machine for potions or whatnot a little chair i can sit in to look out it's very nice read a book i don't read books but and here's an extra chest so there's where all my iron were you are supposed to be downstairs in there with you I'll bring a light for this if you go out my backyard I started, but I did not finish it, but I was thinking to make a little apricorn farm. Oh my goodness, we got a boss. You guys think we should take, can take it out? Oh, 1%? Are you kidding me? It's 1%. Oh! I did it! Nice! Oh, that was a close one. That was a really close one. Let's put this one right in my basement. Look at all of them. I have one more for Blastoise, by the way. Get Pikachu out here. Hello, Pikachu. You have been through... You've been through me in this entire journey. You and Charizard, you guys have stuck with me for the entire journey. I really appreciate that. I'm in my bedroom right now, and uh, we can look at all my badges. I had, and I ended up with eight badges, and I think that's pretty good for 100 days. And let's go to my PC. Let's put all the legendaries together. Oh, funny enough, I ended up with eight legendaries too. Let's make sure I didn't miss anyone here. Yep, I ended up with eight legendaries. I saw. Many, many more, but uh, you know, you can't catch them all. The MVP for my journey was Sashian. Sashian. Sashian was definitely the hero of my story. Grodon, very reliable, and my best friends are Pikachu and Charizard. And uh, Rekosa was a nice ending, a nice legendary Pokemon to end up. Would have been awesome if I caught uh, Kyogre too. And then we can look at my Pokedex. I have seen Oh my goodness, I have seen 347 Pokemon? Did I see that many? I caught 69. Ooh, good number. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I saw, I saw Snorlax in one of the raids. And my orb that I have in my hand, I uh, did not uh, complete it. Uh, halfway. Halfway complete. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.